The Invader One. What's up guys, Invader one here and welcome to N7 Spec Ops, a channel fully dedicated to all things Mass Effect. And today we are going into Mass Effect 3 multiplayer goodness. Absolutely right guys, we're going to have a lot of fun talking about, guess what, the Executioner Pistol. Now, before we go into that, I want to say that I am using the Turian Sentinel here in this gameplay and I'm not going to go too much into the build although I will show it here in the gameplay I will post the build you guys will see it within the gameplay so don't worry it's coming up right now but I, I I'm not gonna go too much into the build because it's not really about the Turian Sentinel uh, this is this is actually all about the execution of pistol we're gonna talk about what it does we're gonna talk about how good it is we're gonna talk about what characters are great with it we're, we're gonna talk everything about the execution of pistol and why it is absolutely awesome so in regards to the Turian Sentinel I'm posting two videos here that you guys can reference uh, one is a platinum gameplay video that I did a while back for the Turian Sentinel it has the Turian Sentinel build it has platinum gameplay it is absolutely awesome a lot of good team play a lot of good things going on there and you can definitely check out that build check out that video guide I go really deep into what the Turian Sentinel can do and then there's another video here for a Turian Sentinel Platinum Solo versus the collectors that I did on Firebase Ghost now this was actually a lot of fun for me because I really like the Turian Sentinel a lot. I think he's a very extremely well-rounded character. I mean, you're talking about having warp, having tech armor, having overload, and at the same time having awesome Turian passives for stability and weapon damage bonuses. This guy is just amazing. He's awesome. The only issues that I have with him is his his inability to dodge, his inability to to dodge anything. So you have to really work him very very differently than other characters, but but for this gameplay, for what we're going to talk about right now, the execution of Pistol, characters like the Turian Sentinel are really awesome. And I'll tell you why. Because the execution of Pistol, when it first came out, as you guys can tell, this is actually the first guide I ever had on the execution of Pistol. I wasn't really too keen on the weapon at first. It's not that I didn't know that the weapon was powerful. It's not that I didn't know that the weapon was really good. It's just that for some reason, I just wasn't feeling the weapon at the time. It wasn't something, it wasn't a gun that I was really into. A lot of people were into it. I wasn't into the one shot, you know, thing. I wanted to be able to, like the other pistols, you know, you, you have a whole bunch of shots and you're able to pick at the enemy and all that. But what, what I was missing out on was that, you know, if I look at this gun, at this pistol, kind of like the way I look at the shotguns, like the Claymore, for example. The Claymore is a one shot gun obviously and yeah you can get another shot with maybe like you know the human soldier and uh, you use his power to be able to get like two shots but uh, regardless of that regardless of that it's a, it's a one shot gun okay and it is absolutely awesome the gun is amazing you can destroy all the enemies you can really go deep deep and just just mess everything up destroy everything entirely you know call your mama to, to give you a certificate for something for wherever you want because you just killed everything on mass effect 3 multiplayer with the claymore right well guess what this this gun is kind of like that you know the way you have to think about the execution of pistol think of it as a mini claymore Think of it as a claymore that you have pistol mods that you can add to. And that is a really great thing. And th that's why, like I'm going back to the Turian Sentinel, that's why characters like the Turian Sentinel are really awesome for this kind of gun. Now, why is that? Why, 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 Invader, why are you telling me that a character like a Turian Sentinel is awesome for this? Okay, well, I'll tell you why. So, normally when you're using a weapon like, let's say, the claymore, let's go back to that example. Normally, you want to be able to know how to uh, do reload canceling. 
Now, for those of you guys who do not know how to reload cancel, you don't understand what that is, I'm popping another video guide up here that you guys can click on. You want to know how to reload cancel, click on that video, check it out so you can finally learn how to reload cancel and stop complaining about the fact that you can't reload cancel. And, uh, you know, just let me know if you learn how to reload cancel. You don't know how to do it. You're like, what the heck are you talking about, Invader? Like, just click on the darn video, okay? Go in there, learn how to reload cancel, impress your friends, Come back and say how awesome that was to learn how to reload cancel because until you don't until you learn how to reload cancel you're not really gonna I mean you're gonna enjoy the weapons in this game but when you learn how to reload cancel you're really gonna enjoy the weapons in this game and matter of fact you need to click on that video because we're gonna talk about reload canceling and why it's important for a gun like this now mind you you don't need to reload cancel for a gun like this you don't need to do that but if you look at the gameplay, I'm pretty sure you're watching it right now. That's right, I'm talking to you. You right there in TV. You right there on your computer, on your on your iPad, on your iPhone, or your Samsung Galaxy, whatever you have. Okay? You're looking at this gameplay and you're noticing that I'm going I'm just constantly going and killing enemies left and right with the execution of pistol. And you see the amount of damage that is happening. But mind you, look how quickly I am shooting the weapon. And it's it's not super fast. It's not super fast, but it's faster than what you normally, uh, the, the, the rate of fire you normally would have if you weren't reload canceling. So with reload canceling, it's, it's when you add reload canceling to this weapon and have characters that do very well, that do really good with reload canceling, then you get a really powerful, powerful combination with this gun. So that's why I decided to choose the Turian Sentinel. Number one, because I could use overload, strip the barriers, and with one shot, with the execution of pistol, I can kill all the minions, every single one. And, and for the minions, the ones that are unshielded, that it's just one shot, guys. One shot. I mean, you're you're, and I'm not talking about armor targets. I'm I'm talking about, uh, you know, like the husks. I'm talking about cannibals. And with shield targets like uh, the Marauders. Overload, strip the shield, and bam, one shot to the head, one, even one shot to the body. The character is down because this gun is a very, it's, it's like a shotgun in your hand. It's a shotgun in your fingers. It's a shotgun to the face. It's a shotgun to everything. It's, it's, just, it's just so badass when you use it this way. And, I, and I'm sorry to use that word, but I got to tell you guys, it is pretty awesome. So that's why when you I use a character like the Turian Sentinel, it allows me to do reload canceling in such a very special way. And some of the other characters that are really good with reload canceling are characters that really don't have a dodge. And much you could reload cancel with any character. You could reload cancel with any character you want. That's that's not what I'm saying here. You usually, you know, you could reload cancel with any character that has a power, with characters that don't dodge, etc. But I like to use it a gun like this with characters that don't dodge or characters that have a very high DPS or a very high um, uh, weapon damage bonuses. Like for example, you have the Geth Infiltrator, right? Geth Infiltrator makes any weapon great because he's just he's got you know the Geth passives, the Geth uh, the Geth bonuses. So he he can actually make any weapon super duper powerful. But then if I played with the Geth Infiltrator for every single weapon review guide, you guys would be like, what the heck? What is up with this? This sucks, you know. This you know I, I like to just mix it around and let you guys know what you can use it with, right? So let, let's talk about that a little bit. With the characters that I like to use the uh, the execution of pistol with. Uh, are char again characters that I can reload cancel with. So we're looking at the adepts. Um, when I'm looking at the adepts, I'm looking at the Volus. I'm looking at the Krogan Shaman, the Batarian Slasher, even the Awakened Collector. Now the adepts, what's cool about them is that they normally rely on their power, so you're not really using your guns that much. So, but it is good to have even just a, a regular adept that dodges with this weapon because think about it you're using your powers and then maybe there's that one character that just has like one bar and then you're like BAM with the execution of pistol just knock him out you know it's gonna be one shot you know it's powerful you know you got the right mods and that's it you could totally destroy them right other characters are uh, like the human soldier is absolutely amazing the Krogan soldier 
beast mode because you can reload cancel, you can use his grenades, you can do everything and just one shot everything that you can. Turian soldier, the same thing. Um, the Batarian, you know, oh, and something very special, by the way. There's only one character here that can get two shots from the executioner pistol. Every single other character gets one shot, but if we're looking at the N7 destroyer, and you put Devastator mode, and you put the, the pistol magazine upgrade, you're going to be able to get two shots off of this gun. Now, that is beast mode, okay? That would make the N7 Destroyer pro possibly the best character to use this weapon, because you actually get two shots, and mind you, if for some reason you miss the first shot, then the second shot will take out the enemy, okay? And that's unshielded targets, one shot, one shot to the head, one shot to the body, one shot to the toe, one shot to their fingernail, whatever you want to shoot at, it's just, just going to be one shot, that guy's got to drop, okay? So that's... That's that. The, the, the N7 Destroyer has something very special with Devastator Mode and with the Pistol Magazine Upgrade that it will allow you to have two shots for the Executioner Pistol. So then you ask, well, why do you not use the N7 Destroyer? Well, I, I'm, I'm telling you that the N7 Destroyer can do it, so I think you can figure that out. The other thing is that, you know, I kind of, I just like the Turian Sentinel for this. I think the Turian Sentinel with weapons that have one-shot capacity like this does really great because he's got the best powers for this kind of thing overload and warp he can debuff enemies with warp and at the same time he can overload strip shields and one shot bam with the execution of pistol so again going back to reload canceling characters that don't dodge or characters that you know that you're good with reload canceling those will be really good for this because it'll allow you to get quicker uh, a quicker shot out of the execution of pistol because remember you only got one shot at a time now let's talk a little bit about uh, the description i'm actually going to read you the description that i found in regards to the execution of pistol because it's it's really interesting this was invented by the blood pack Okay, weapons experts, whatever that means, if really there are experts in the blood pad, that's interesting. The first executioner was improved using spare parts and scrap metal during an Omega territory dispute. The result was a handheld cannon able to fire high impact armor piercing slugs. Okay, so it has high armor piercing slugs. So there is latent armor piercing in this weapon. You don't even. I definitely recommend to use armor piercing mod, but I'm just saying it already has some latent armor piercing in it, okay? Although only one at a time due to its limited heatsink, many blood pack mercs carry an executioner as backup in case they get pinned down, but some enthusiasts prefer that as their primary gun, sticking to the one shot, one kill approach. And that, whatever, that's fine. That's a very interesting description from the... Uh, you know, from Mass Effect Wikia, but we're not here to talk too much about that. Now, I thought that the description was interesting, especially the fact that, you know, the Blood Pack expert, I just thought that that was funny. Whatever, that's just an inside joke. I, I thought it was hilarious to think that they actually, the Blood Pack has that person. I don't know, maybe they do. I, I don't know. I, I've never been in the Blood Pack. I'm not that, uh, I don't roll with that gang, you know what I'm saying? So, that's it. So, let's talk a little bit about the actual innate penetration it actually has some armor piercing and it has in it penetration of 50 centimeters so it, this is enough to pierce guardian shields okay so those are the Cerberus guardians you know that that walk around with their shields and that they're 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 bad because you know you can't hit them now with this gun if even if you don't have the even if you don't have the the uh, the piercing mod you can still actually shoot through their shields and, and hurt them. Now, I would still recommend to use the piercing mod. I still recommend to use the pistol heavy barrel. And now, here, you'll be able to see um, in, on the video uh, the mods that I definitely recommend. And I usually would just recommend to have a heavy pistol mod so you can get additional 40% uh, damage. And at the same time, you know, to use the pistol piercing you, just, so, just so you can get that, you know, stronger uh, armor piercing. But... But you know what? Let's say you didn't want to do that. You could still put the, um, you know, you could still just put the pistol heavy mod and put a scope on it, and use armor piercing ammo. So like that, like that, you can actually use this almost like a sniper rifle. If you use the, uh, you know, the the j just a heavy barrel and then put a and put the scope on it, you can actually just zoom into the enemy. 
aim at the head and just knock them out and you will see how powerful this gun is that way it can really be like a mini sniper on your hand this is like a mini sniper cannon now a lot of people don't like to go through this they just don't they don't like the, the, to have the patience for this but this is a very skilled weapon you know if you really get good with this weapon you're actually able to take those very precise shots you're actually able to take your time with it use your powers appropriately I mean you, you'll, you'll be able to time your shots time your the way your character is moving around and at the same time know that when you get that shot out you know it's going to be devastating you know it's going to be a single shot you know that that character has to drop or if it's a boss enemy you know that you're going to take a lot of a lot of their armor down a lot of their health down and they're going to be so jacked up as you can see in this gameplay right now so the execution of pistol guys has innate penetration okay so you can still hit guardian shields and but it doesn't grant any additional damage on armor targets so you're not getting like uh you know you're not gonna get anything additional on a brute you're not gonna get additional armor piercing um it, it, like a rank for armor piercing you're gonna have to definitely use like the armor piercing rounds or the the you know the pistol piercing mod which will actually allow you to give you a bonus against armor targets so that's something that i definitely recommend now um so when it comes to when it comes to using this gun, um, I I I got I gotta warn you about something. It does have a lot of a huge recoil, and sometimes um, sometimes when you zoom in, let's say you're not using the let's say you're not using the, the scope on the gun and you're just using it the way I'm using it here. Sometimes when you zoom in, it it kind of like I've I've found this one issue that sometimes it kind of doesn't find a target you you may be aiming right at it but for some reason it's like the the sometimes the, like the bullet gets lost I, I don't even know how to explain it so that's why i don't zoom in a lot i actually just use it like hip fire i use it the way i use the claymore i don't really zoom in much uh, sometimes i sometimes i zoom in with the claymore and i take advantage of you know like our console we are console scrubs right we take advantage of the auto aim sometimes but when it comes to this gun you actually just want to go ahead and aim the reticle you know or aim your crosshair right at the enemy without having to zoom in and just use it that way now if you do have the, the scope definitely zoom in but if you're using it this way the way I'm using it I'm just using it kind of like a shotgun where I'm not even zooming in I'm just aiming right at the enemy and just kind of going at it as you can see the enemies will drop and it works it actually works out better so it's just a little warning in regards to the gun because for some reason I guess maybe it's because the recoil at that moment when you are kind of zooming in you got to zoom in and wait if, um, like just half a second and then shoot You'll notice when I zoom in and I and I just shoot really quickly. Sometimes it doesn't it, it doesn't have the impact on the enemy. I'm not exactly sure why, but according to what I read on the wiki uh, for this pistol, I guess you know you you have to be you have to be able to zoom in and just take that moment to aim right. I guess so. That is just a little something that I found now. But when you're going around and just dropping shots you can see that this gun is absolutely amazing especially getting headshots you will drop enemies left and right as you can see in this gameplay and I really I gotta tell you guys I've actually really really liked the execution of pistol right now and I've been I don't know I've been I've been thinking that I may even attempt something with the with the gun um, maybe it attempts some kind of hardcore challenge I don't even know but the, the gun is actually something that I really like the only thing is that you have like 15 shots you know what I mean it's you, you're kind of limited and with the amount of shots you have as well it doesn't have a huge clip size so that's something that you also have to consider this gun normally it's like a secondary for uh it's supposed to be kind of like a secondary weapon but in reality you can have it as a main weapon but anyway guys that is what i have to say in regards to the execution of pistol i think you guys should definitely check it out use it in characters like this really enjoy it it is absolutely an amazing gun and it really works well with other characters that take advantage of uh of, of things such as uh, like the submission net like stasis you use stasis for example the uh the asari adept right or the asari vanguard she has stasis and you can then just one shot the enemy to the head it's absolutely amazing like that but overall guys take advantage of the way this weapon works this way as you can see i prefer the heavy 
uh, the heavy barrel the, the, and also the, the pistol piercing mod it actually gives you the best best situation here and characters that have really good stability bonuses really good uh, really good weapon bonuses like Turians characters that don't really dodge that you can do real low canceling with work really really well with this gun so that's it guys that is the executioner pistol I think is it's really really awesome it's really cool I've actually gotten to kind of enjoy the gun love the gun a lot now I I just spent a lot of time playing it because I just I, I felt like I was missing out on this guide and at the same time I thought man this this there's something to this gun I have to be able to really get into it and in reality once I did I didn't regret it I really really enjoyed this gun so yeah guys that's it that's the execution execution pistol <laughs> excuse me I'm here kind of like fudging that up okay that's the execution of pistol and I hope that you guys enjoyed this gameplay enjoyed this commentary if you really did absolutely enjoy it I ask you to please subscribe to the channel uh, definitely helps me out uh, Put in a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. What kind of builds you like to use with the Executioner Pistol? What are the characters that you prefer with the Executioner Pistol? And if there's any insight that you think that everybody else may be able to gain out of your knowledge, hey, you know what? Drop your insight right in the comments below. Okay? And uh, again, don't forget to subscribe. This is Invader One, and I will see you on the next video. If this is your first time here and you're interested in a channel focused specifically on Mass Effect, including upcoming single player Let's Plays, tips and tricks, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer guides, including hardcore challenges, team ups, and live comps, top lists, Mass Effect art, books, news, and more, with a new video every week on Tuesdays and other videos throughout the week, then click on the subscribe button to stay connected with everything Mass Effect. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Invader 1 out at N7 Spec Ops.